Hi, I'm Mr. Tom. I'm so glad you're here today. We are gonna learn another great story about being a friend. Do you know what being a friend is? Mm. That's a good one. We've learned some really neat stories about being a friend. And we're gonna learn another one today about two women and how one of them was a really, really good friend. Mail truck. letter from the mailman. Imagine that. Pretty cool. And it says it's to Mr. Tom and friends. That's you. Well, it's me and you. So let's see what's inside. Look at that. What is that? That's a heart. And it has the word kind in it. Do you know what it means to be kind? You're right. It means to be nice and loving and care about others. And we're going to hear a story all about that. Our story comes from the Bible. And the Bible has stories about God and his people. Well, this is Ruth and this is Naomi. And they were good friends. And one day, Naomi decided she needed to leave the city where they lived and go to her hometown of Bethlehem. Uh, but it was far, far away. Ruth didn't have to go to Bethlehem, but she decided to go with her because they were friends. And she didn't want to leave her alone. Wherever you go, I'll go. That's being a nice friend. Have you ever gone someplace really far away? When you do, what do you need to take? We need a suitcase. And what will we pack in our suitcase? Hmm. Some underwear. And some socks would be good. Um, maybe some shoes. Shirts. Pants, toothbrush and toothpaste would be good, and a hairbrush, some games, some snacks, and your favorite sleeping buddy. So the two women packed their bags and they were headed off to Bethlehem. Man, it was a long way away, so they walked and they walked far, far away. When they got to Bethlehem, they were hungry. Their stomachs were growling. Does your stomach ever growl? Can't say, oh, my stomach, oh, so hungry. That's what they were, they were very hungry. But they didn't have any food. But Ruth decided that she would go to the fields where the people were working and she would follow behind. Because when they were picking the wheat, parts would fall off and she crawled along the ground and picked up the little pieces that they dropped. And then she took them and she shared them with Naomi. What a great friend. And you know it was hard work because little pieces of the grain are tea. And to, to have enough food for two of them, that was a lot of work. She was a good, good friend. That's such a great story. Ruth was such a good friend to Naomi. Speaking of friends, should we see if Cecil's on his computer? I'm gonna have a video chat with him and we can talk about the story. I hope Cecil's at his computer. Hello, everyone. Hey, Cecil, we're glad to see you today. I'm glad to see all of you, too. Seeing you is the best part of my week. 
Oh, thanks. That's a really nice thing for you to say. Did you know that that's what we were talking about? Are you talking about being kind? I know that is important. We should always be kind to our friends. You're right. God wants us to be kind friends. It helps us show people that we love them. I try to be kind to my friends, but sometimes I'm not sure what I should do to show kindness. Well, let's talk about that. Tell me a situation where you might need help figuring out how to be kind. One day my friend was crying and I wasn't sure what to do. Hmm, what could we do to help a friend who's crying? Do you remember last week we were looking at those pictures and there's a, a picture of a baby crying? And we thought that maybe giving a hug might help? Oh yeah, I remember that. Do you have any other times when you're not sure how to be kind? Sometimes at church I see a friend who doesn't have a toy to play with, but I'm not sure how to be kind. Oh, that's a good one. How could we be kind to a friend who doesn't have a toy to play with? Hmm. Oh yeah, we talked about sharing our toys with friends a few weeks ago, didn't we? Do you have any other times when you don't know how to be kind? Yesterday, my brother was building a tower and it fell over. I didn't know what to do. How could we be a kind friend if someone was building a tower and it fell over? We talked about being a helpful friend last week. So we know that helping build the tower over again would be the kind thing to do. You've given me a lot of wonderful ideas about how to be kind. I will try your suggestions and ask God to help me be a kind friend. Thanks for joining us today, Cecil. Do you know what, Mr. Tom? What? It's great to be able to see you, but do you know what I miss? I think I might. What do you miss, Cecil? I miss when you give me bananas. I'll be sure to get you a banana the next time we're all together again. Sounds good. I'm so glad we got to spend time with you today, Cecil. Let's all say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. See you soon. That's Cecil. What a silly monkey. Hey, let's practice our Bible verse. Remember, it has a fun part to it. We can do this, and that means friend in sign language. That's pretty neat. Remember our Bible verse, Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Now, let's say it fun. How about a puppy? Can we all be puppies? A little bark. I believe a little puppy. Ready? That is a good puppy. You could pick some animals and repeat it with your parents. Well, let's end our time today with a prayer. So let's get ready. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Fold them in your lap. I'm going to say it part and you say it back. Ready? Okay. Dear God, thank you for the Bible and for the story of Ruth and Naomi. Help us to remember to be kind friends. Amen. I'm glad I got to see you today. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye. -bye.